Hello, lovelies. Um, this is uh, Global Message TV. Um, it's all about the trading news in Imo State. We have somebody here right now who wants to say something concerning what is going on in Imo State. I wish you all to pay attention, uh, be attentive, uh, to listen to her so that you have something to you know contribute better what she's gonna say now. She's reporting from the United States of America. Please, guys, pay attention and listen to her. Thank you very much. Ben, if this is your first time of watching from our YouTube channel, don't fail to subscribe. Hit on the red subscribe button so that whenever you upload a video, you'll be among the first people to receive the notification. Also, hit on the um, bell notification sign. God bless you as you keep coming on our channel. Thank you very much. Please watch. I want to make a comment for what is happening in Imo State because we are not happy. If others are happy, me, I am not happy because it's for generation to generation. This man will not win election. I don't know his name and I don't want to know his name. What I know is a dead man who does not win election and he said he win it. <laughs> he has carried a cause from generation to generation. If you did not vacate that seat, he's a dead man. I am a full born of him state. I am a full born of him be say. If you not remove his hand from that seat, he's a dead man. Oh, Makuna tell him oh, both wife, both children, adult, every member of the family, Makuna tell him, remove hand for what does not belong to him. He's a dead man. He fell election. He failed it. He did not pass. Everybody know that he failed election. Now he raised up from one place. Won't nobody know where he come from. Say he win election. Election he did not win. He said he winner. He's a dead man. He will die. In the name of Jesus. He will die. He will never be alive and sit in that seat. He will never be alive and sit in that seat. And he will never rule him or state. He will never... He will go and rule in the kingdom of darkness. That is where he belongs to. And he's going to rule there, not in the state. Makuna tell him to leave, leave that seat. It does not belong to him. make your advice your husband to leave that seat. That seat does not belong to him. If you don't know, you want to be a woman leader for uh, Imo State, you will never succeed. Oh. You want to be first lady where you know where your husband you know no qualified for that. And you you not qualified to be a first lady. Your husband has carried a, a course from generation to generation. If your husband no leave that seat, none of your children will get better things in life. We are mothers. And I stand on it. None of your generation will get a better chance in life. Let your husband leave that seat. It does not belong to him. If it's not so, I give him seven days. He will die. In the name of Jesus, your husband will die. You will be a widow if your husband does not leave that seat. You will be a widow. You will never be alive and be first lady in a, in, in Imo State. You will never. You and your husband, how could I leave that seat though? Leave that seat. It's not belong to you. That is all I have for you. If you continue, hey, you will see what is going to happen to you. In most state, I've been crying to heaven today because uh, the president, if God gave him a state, it's not, it's not a president. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's not an ordinary governor. It's not ordinary governor of Imo state. He's a, he's, he's a leader of Israel like, to lead us to the promised land where God has promised us. That is why he gave us that, that governor of Imo State. He, America is not, he's not a Imo State governor. He's a ruler. He's a ruler and the God will anoint him to lead Imo State to, him, to, 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 the, to the level where God wants Imo State to be. And your husband from nowhere to put us into the darkness. We will never go back to darkness because love of God have already delivered us. No man born by a woman of my type will take us into the kingdom of darkness any longer. We never, never succeeded.
said. The sister said she is unpopular. See, the sister, the day when you file election, her sister, in presence of me and many people, her sister said, hey, thank God, though, say this man no win election because he's a bad man. Now he raised up to say he have win election. He did not win it. He will die. He will die. He will die. In the name of Jesus, he will die. You will bring the cost to your generation to generation. None of your children will see a better thing. Or let you leave that seat in the name of Jesus. That is all I have. God bless you for listening to me in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. So it's me again, Agwai Ibozrike. And this message goes to Hope Uzodoma. The politician from Imo State, Nigeria. Hope you're hearing from me. Direct. And I am a true born of Imo State. I want to make it clear here that um, I am not particularly concerned about what Ihedioha would do for me. I am concerned about the peace of Imo State that he has restored. Looking up to Imo lights, seeing their anguishes, deciding to restore peace, decided to restore hope, decided to restore all the stolen moments of happiness of Imolites and somebody like Hope Uzodema after congratulating him went back again to destabilize the peace of Imolites simply because you believe the man in, in Asarok is your father and we use force to get the mandate for you Hope Uzodema, did you know what happened to Wajimogo? He is dead. And his burial time is thicken. You remember how that God forsaken bastard called Okorocha? Rochas Okorocha stole um, the mandate of Mr. Neji, the one armed soldier, and gave it to who? I mean, gave it to um, Wajimogu. His people clapped. They rejoiced over stolen mandate because. Okorocha felt his God and he can do anything he wants to do. He felt he is the father of wickedness and he will unleash it on whomever he wishes to unleash it. The same Okorocha who pushed Wajumogu to his grave now is pushing you because as I'm standing here as an oracle of heaven I am telling you to just prepare your barrier because you are going to die a shameful death prepare your barrier you will die I have received the option from heaven to pronounce death upon you whosoever I curse is cursed whosoever I bless is blessed forever hope Uzodema you will die you will not leave because the forces of heaven are against you. I'm telling you that heaven is against you. Jehovah God is against you. The spirit of the dead that Okorocha killed, this same Okorocha that is pushing you against the Imolites, Okorocha who had nothing good he brought to Imolite, but to stole everything that be belongs to Imolite fight the widows to take what belongs to them fight the fatherless to take what belongs to them killed innocent people render people useless the same man is pushing you 
So you will grab the mandate, then he will take the mandate from you and give to his son-in-law, take over our um, um, take over our White House, then and start unleashing mayhem again on Imolites. That Semokrocha is pushing you, just like he pushed Owajimogu to his grave. Today is your turn because you will die. Because you have no good intention for the people of Imo State. You want to be a governor of Imo State. You will be it in your grave. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say you will die. You will not live. You will never succeed. You will not have peace. The Lord of Heaven has taken away peace from you. The money that um, um, Ihedio I have um, used to um, go to court, this money he could use to fix our Imolite like he's been doing since he took over the mandate, since he won it. But you decide to make him waste that money. That money can build houses for um, widows with no, nowhere to lay their head. That money can establish companies for uh, the jobless to find a job. You may, you're making him to waste it. All of you ganging up against the peace of emo lights, ganging up against the blessing that God has given to emo states. I want you to hear today that the God of heaven is against you. I am speaking from the throne of heaven and I'm pronouncing death upon each and every one of you. You and your generation will perish and the God of heaven will come down and fight for the poor and innocent people of Imo State. Inhedioha will remain the, the governor of Imo State until Biafra is restored. Yes. I said to you, Hope, Zodema, go and arrange your barrier. Because what happened to Wajimogu will happen to you. You don't fight God's anointed. You don't just fight God's own and go score free. And I'm telling you the truth. I am not just speaking. I'm telling you what is going to happen. Because you will not survive God's thunder that is coming upon you. God has already slapped you. The God has slapped you. You will not survive it. I'm joining my spirit with the spirit of the angels in heaven to pronounce death upon you, hope, Uzodama. You will die. You will die. And your death will be very disastrous, shameful. Such a shameful, disgusting death. <laughs> you will die. You will not survive it. I, I, have never, I have not seen you survive it. You will not survive it. Yes, I have not seen you survive it. I can see you in the spirit, in the realm of the spirit, lying dead. You are gone long ago. It's just your corpse fighting. Receive your death. I send it to you. You will soon go. And that is my message. It shall be well with you here, dear hammer. In Jesus' name. In most states, you will continue to see peace. The peace that the Lord has restored to Imo, Imo states will remain permanent. Any power that rises against it shall be crushed, shall be destroyed by the power of the Almighty God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our government, thank you.